What is up guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we are doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We have a lot going on today. We are opening up some more Flames of Destruction special editions and then we're also doing Mail Day at the same time. So we're going to go over up some sealed product that we recently obtained as well as go over some new PSA cards. That's right, we are starting our Yu-Gi-Oh! PSA collection uh, and I'm really excited to show everybody uh, kind of like where we are beginning and kind of like our first step on to that uh, on that road uh, so lots to cover a lot of stuff to do lots of cards to open and show off let's get into it all right here's a stack of PSA cards and we'll get into that in a little bit uh, first we want to show off this thing this is the Yugi's legendary decks uh, so this is the first version and so it does come with three pre-constructed decks and since there's no packs to open and you know exactly what you get we're actually not going to open this but we did so we did obtain uh, a few copies of these um from troll and toad and so it does have a yugi's exodia deck that also has looks like uh guy the dragon champion black cluster soldier uh as well as all in all the god cards then we have a dark magician one with the red dark magician swords revealing light and the gadget warrior uh, Valkyrie and then some cards there and then another uh, gadgets and silent series monsters so very cool box um, and yeah I like I like this box as well let's see if we can zoom out um, one thing that I found just because I happen to have a opened one is this is actually really good for storing uh, booster packs if you happen to collect booster packs it's actually kind of like the perfect size and uh, so in this next part we're going to get into these packs of flames of destruction and then we'll hit the PSA stuff at the end okay there we go I always struggle to open these special collections so I'll definitely have to edit that and kind of probably just fast forward through that all right so for our promos we have the world legacy memory Grand Soil Elemental Lord. Oh, so we got all of them. Universal Adapter and then the other Elemental Lords. So we got the Water and the Earth Elemental Lords. Very nice. And then we have six packs of Flames of Destruction. Uh, so yeah, we are doing everything we can to pull Infinite Impermanence because it is in this as well as in Dual Power, which we've, which we've been opening up those as well. So, and uh, yeah, both sets are really strong. A lot of cool cards and a lot of cards I really just like the artwork. Uh, and just they seem really cool all right so for our first pack of flames of destruction we have trickstar nightshade red-haired hasty horse watch cat mame maki and then a degrade buster all right then world legacy struggle yes the struggle is real guys trickstar mandrake and then battery battery man solar that looks silly and then venger and daybreak okay not nothing much in that pack this is a, I feel like this is a cool set, but it's kind of hard to get the all the good cards just because they're all secret rares. So we have F.A. Dead Heat, Koki Octo Stretch, Space Insulator, Rainbow Refraction. Let's see, was this the Rainbow Dragons? Rainbow Dark Dragon, okay. Crystal, oh, okay, it's the Crystal Beast uh, from, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! The GX series is definitely my favorite just because they... For the most part follow the rules and there's just all these cool um each character had their own really unique decks and uh yeah or actually that's always the case i suppose um however yeah that one's probably my favorite series all right so we got a tin dangle trinity mech nam avram fa dead heat goki octo stretch and then an elemental saber la pol la polina mana then a backup operator crystal conclave background dragon and link streamer okay so far nothing very good we've already gone through our first first uh, box or first special edition all right come on let's get a secret rare three troll and <laughs> three troll and trolls that's a pretty troll card sorry guys defry dragon Ooh, man that is a good pack defry dragon followed by called by the grave And then a ooh nightmare goblin. I can't remember if this is one of the, the really good ones. But let's see what it does. Two monsters with different different names. 
Uh, that's way too many words, sorry. <laughs> but we'll put this one there because it is ultra rare. And then a Revenge Red Ex Executor, Elemental Seder Aina, a Yajiro Invader, Transfamiliar, and Protron. All right, so we did get an ultra rare, um, so that's good. And so maybe the chances of getting a secret rare are slightly lower, uh, but let's we still can do it. Let's get a secret rare. Kai Den Kendo Spirit, I do like that art. Crystal Keeper, Prompt Thorn, Troll and Trolls, and then Link Unbound for the secret, all by Vandred Anima. Waking of the Dragon, nice. Flower Guardian, Moonflower Viewing, not bad. Alter Grice, Amulet Leaf. All right, a last pack of Flames of Destruction, and then we're going to jump into our PSA cards that we recently acquired. Uh, if you're curious, where I, where oh, if you're curious, where do you pick up PSA cards? Right now, the kind of like the avenue that I would be looking for is if you just go to PWCC. Oh man, once again, Deep Fried Dragon followed by Called by the Grave, very strong pack, and then a Nightmare Unicorn. Oh yes, yeah, so we did get a secret rare, guys. Awesome, that last pack coming in clutch, Nightmare Unicorn, very strong pull. Uh, too many words to go over, but. All right, this was a very successful opening. We got two awesome Link monsters in Nightmare Goblet, two awesome Link Nightmares in Nightmare Goblet and Nightmare Unicorn, and then a Trickstar Banquet for Bouquet. Yep. <laughs> and, ooh, man, so many good uh, commons, too. So, very successful opening, and, uh, yeah. So definitely if you enjoyed this opening, hit that like button down below. And without further ado, let's, be, let's find out where our... PSA collection will start off. Let's just make some room. Don't want to make sure I don't damage any of this stuff. So we're starting off with some super vintagey cards. This one doesn't have to be very strong, but it's kind of a nostalgic from the show, and it is. Boom! That flame swordsman, one of Joey's uh, super reliable guys. Uh, the only way he could be reliable is if uh, you can just summon him straight up. Where this guy, he wasn't even a fusion monster in the show, but uh, so he is a fusion. 1800 attack. This one is actually a Gen Mint 10. One thing I didn't realize is this is the Asian Asian English set. And uh, the, the way to tell is basically if you look at the back, it has a different emblem where usually it's over here. And has, I think, I can't remember what it, or it says. It says Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> uh, but either way, still very uh, nostalgic card for me. Just, um, yeah. Joey's Reliable Flame Swordsman. And so we're just going to stick with some more Legend of Blue Eyes. Uh, this is a boom. Curse of Dragon. Uh, another card that, or this card Yugi used. Uh, and this actually came, not only was it obviously in Blue Eyes, the Blue Eyes set, and this is a PSA 8, so near mint to mint. Um, not only did Yugi use it, but it also came in the starter deck Yugi. Uh, was actually really weak uh, since it required a tribute. Uh, however, so when I played, uh, my, my brother had the Yugi set and I had the Kaiba. And so this one was definitely pretty weak um, in that, especially compared to some of the Kaiba, which he had Judge Man, although Yugi had Summon Skull. All right, the next set is card is another very nostalgic card, not only from the show, but from my own, uh, when me and my relatives and my cousins were basically collecting. It is a Black Skull Dragon. So this is from Metal Raiders, Gem Mint 10, very awesome. And so, um, you know, back in that day when, you know, you didn't have that many packs, you didn't have that many cards. Uh, so essentially, like, someone maybe had one of this and then one of my cousins he it was just like a beloved card although we you know fusion was just very hard to pull off during that meta uh so we never used it but it was just like a very prized card for one of my cousins uh shout out to you j10 um but yeah black skull dragon very epic card in the in one of the movies i think it was one of the first movies um they actually summoned him for for to kind of like win the game uh and now we're going on to another vintage card. Actually, this is kind of uh, significant to me because I think it was, I don't remember what game it was, but I thought this is like, oh my gosh, this is totally game breaking. And that is Gemini Elf. And so this was from Labyrinth of Nightmare. So we got first edition secret rare Lab Gemini Elf. And the reason this was like very game, not game breaking, but oh my gosh, this is just 
changes everything is the four star like power creep started at like 1800 where that was why star deck kai was good because you had la jin uh even like the battle axe 1700 compared to yugi so that was four stars were not as strong but then gemini f comes in it's like hey guess what 1900 can't remember what the game boy game was uh however it was uh the kaiba kind of had gemini elf and on to the next card um classic card and this one was super useful it is swords of revealing light so cool so powerful um and then eventually when we learned about like stall decks that could either just build up to exodia or kind of like you keep dropping these guys and use the final countdown to win the game this card just so strong Back in the day, I think it was limited to... I think you could use two. And some of the other staples was... Boom! Raigeki. Uh, while everyone had a dark hole, uh, Raigeki was something that not everyone did have. And it was just absolutely insane how strong it was. Destroy all your opponent's monsters in the field. It's like... Just a clean uh, sweep of all your opponent's monsters. Very epic card. Kind of like... Alright, everyone needs to have one of these. Um, okay, now we're going on to something really cool. It is something that I'm really happy to add to my collection. It is the God cards. Here we have the Winged Dragon Ara of the three. I probably say this is my, this is number three for me. Even though he has a lot of different modes and, uh, uh, what was it? What was his name? Merrick made him absolutely insane. Uh, and this is a PSA 9 from the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I did get one of those God Boxes that they kind of released a while ago. and um, But I, I really like to have one of the ones from back in the day. So this is from two, 2003. And this is PSA 9. Very nice. And then probably, um, probably more the crowd favorite is Slifer the Sky Dragon. Once again, PSA 9 from that same series. Uh, I think Slifer definitely looks the coolest um and uh i feel like uh when it comes to how strong they are this guy was ridiculous as far as his, his ability for when opponent's monsters enter the field uh however in practice like i feel like your hand size is always not that high so his attack and defense stats is not as good that's why in my one of my i think my favorite is that obelisk uh even though kaiba usually comes in second place i i feel like kaiba i like kaiba just because he his decks were always so strong and Yugi is more like the underdog will still find a way to win but Kaiba just comes out guns blazing always and this guy's always at 4000 did have that ability where you sacrifice a couple monsters and then you kind of wipe your opponent's board as well so another PSA 9 from that Game Boy series and we have boom one more obelisk and this one is Gem Mint 10 so very happy to have this and however now that I have one 10 Gem Mint 10 is like all right now I gotta find the the uh, uh, Slifer and the Wing Dragon Ra. Um, all right, and our last card is uh, one from kind of like when the game first came out. This is where everyone's starting place was was the starter decks, and this is from Starter Deck Yugi. Not only that, this is first edition. It's only near mint seven, but uh, this is like a card where there's probably like like half of the population had this card uh but to keep it in good condition through all these years uh and have the first edition one um such a cool card very nostalgic just the classic uh, dark magician art very happy to have that uh definitely want to get that blue eyes however the, the prices of those ones are quite high uh for a card that came in a starter deck so there you guys have it. This is where we are starting as far as our PSA collection and really happy with that. I feel like it's a solid start and looking forward to continue to build that out. Um, and uh, yeah, so there you guys have it. Uh, great opening, uh, pulled lots of great cards, uh, showed off some sealed stuff as well as our beginning of our PSA collection. And so uh, really enjoyed uh, showing that to everyone. And uh, as always, if you want to support the channel, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're not already um, and hit that bell for notifications. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Uh, do you have a PSA collection of your own and kind of like what are your own goals for yours? Um, on that, guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. As always, thanks for all the support on the channel. I'm a Wine and Turtle and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.